what's up guys i've been alexa here and again i'm back with another youtube video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can transfer files from your iphone or ipad device to your chromebook or from your chromebook to your ipad it doesn't matter whatever you want to do and if that sounds interesting let's get into the video right now audio jungle now this is my blog i just want to show you some bit of part of it for those of you who are new i also write some great content here so in case you want to check it out link is going to be in the description i always do take videos for those of you who are new and anyway that's it um let's start right now now i just want to show you something a little bit simple here when you plug in your iphone to your chromebook to your chromebook all right let me show you so when you plug in your iphone to your chromebook this is what you will see you see that you can only access okay i haven't yet allowed wait in my passcode and allow okay let me allow this now allow okay it has allowed you can only access photos here it's only photos that you can access also let me show you on the ipad even if you plug in the ipad again the only thing that you can access here are the photos only photos is the only thing that you can access anyway if my webcam is a bit laggy it's because i'm recording on an extension let's head over to the browser now i want to show you something i want to show you something here anyway all you need to do is to head over to your ios device whether it's iphone or ipad but for this case i'm going to be using the ipad and I'm using the iPad 2 mini. Sorry, the iPad 2 Air. What is wrong with me? Anyway, all you need to do is to head over to your app store and you search for this app. It's called Dogemates Files PDF Browser or something. It's made by Doge by Rido. Yeah. This is how it looks like. Link is gonna be in the description. You don't need to search for it or something. Link is gonna be in the description, but it is made by Rido. Rido something. Anyway, as you can see, it has got 4.7 rating on, on the Apple Store, and I've already given it a five star rating. Nice. It is a nice app, and as you can see, it has it is it size is 172 MBs and in order to use it it requires iOS 12.2 or later so if you have maybe an iPhone 5 it won't be compatible if you have an older iPad or something it won't be compatible as long as your device isn't on iOS 12.2 or later anyways after that after you have installed the app now all you need to do is to open the app it tells me to update i'm not gonna update now as long as i can use the app now now uh, i've opened the app now uh, now you see connections when you open the app you see connections and this is what they will tell you is to the url or something go to okay this is what they are telling me now i should go to this okay um you need to enter this into your computer but for this case i've already entered it um you need to go to this site it's called https docs transfer.com that is that you want to share and uh, you need to put in this code 0.7845 all right sorry where did i put it it's, it's supposed to go here sorry guys all right 
we're in establishing local connection jesus christ wow oh my god my internet was a bit laggy that's why i failed for the first time but anyway we're in and these are the files that i've got onto my ios device onto my ipad but for whatever case i always use it a lot to transfer files and that's it because i can't on this pc it's an old asa chromebook and uh, i can't install three u tools or it can't update to linux Ubuntu or something i can't update to that because it's older and uh, the only option i've got is this one and uh, i don't see any other option because when you plug in your cable you just transfer only photos and i always have a lot of stuff i transfer but anyway you need to go to this website as you can see um okay i'm gonna try and transfer some file here and i show you and this is a photo of platos i have i can say i want to download it let's say i can want i say i want to download it this thing doesn't require data or something and in a minute you see it is done i have it right now let's say this is a png pdf file sorry i want to download it okay let's wait for it oh my god it has it is done let me see it here yeah let me see if i can access it it is here and it is here this is how it looks like on the ipad and this is how it looks like here on the chromebook Jesus Christ, this is simple. All right, so amazing, guys. Very simple, very good, and very simple. Anyway, let me show you how you can send stuff from your i from your Chromebook to your iPad. Now, um, I'm gonna try and send something here. Let me see. Again, I have another photo. Kratos. Kletos, my god, I love that you. I'm a PlayStation fan for those of you who have been following my channel. You know that I love PlayStation so much, and this is Kletos. <laughs> yeah, baby. Love him so much. So oh my god. Anyway, this is how you can transfer files, and uh, it is so simple, guys. And as you can see, I've got some movies here, but of course, of course, you can transfer some movies. I've got Coming to America, I've got Lion, the Lost Dragon. I'm going to download other movies also. But anyway, that's it in today's video. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. And if you liked it, please make sure to drop a thumbs up. Check out my blog in the description and also check out the link of this app in the description also. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments again. If you have any questions, comments down. I'll be replying to each and every comment personally. And with that said, till next time. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.